Okay, uh, hello, and welcome to Real Opinions. So, uh, first thing, just a disclaimer, obviously we are not in the studio uh, that we have been for the last few videos. We are in my room, with just me. But, uh, as of January, things will be back to normal. Uh, we'll be in the studio, group discussions, that kind of thing. Our usual ranting and babbling, high quality maintained. Uh, so what this is, is this kind of like a, an editorial on something that has been bothering me a lot of late. Um, so firstly, I want to start off by saying that I'm somebody who absolutely despises what I like to call like genre hierarchies. So uh, this is just kind of like the beliefs that um, certain genres should be privileged over others. So you hear this a lot, especially amongst film fans and people who like to talk about film that uh, they they kind of look down on certain genres. Now, um, obviously, certain things aren't to everybody's taste. So, for example, I don't like musicals. Uh, musicals aren't for me. But I don't regard musicals as a lesser art form because I don't like them. And other people don't seem to be capable of making this distinction between something that they don't like and something that is trash. The, the main genre that this this kind of levels itself at is the horror genre. People are always sort of going like, oh, it's just a horror film. I don't really like horror films. This kind of, such an insidious belief. <laughs> insidious. Uh, that it actually ends up working its way into the, the world of filmmaking itself. You hear it all the time, directors who have made like a really successful horror film. Going like, oh no, but it's it's not just a horror film, or it's it's more than a horror film, or, or even it's not really a horror film, and and I really don't like that. So when I'm whenever I'm talking to people who who get horror films and really like horror films, it's kind of like a a relief because I can finally talk about horror films with people who won't look down on me for liking horror films. But then it's just like an onion, and there's more layers because the next thing is that you find that within the people who like horror films, there are certain subgenres that are privileged above others. So you get at the tippy top psychological horror. Then there's the like sci-fi horror, body horror, splatter horror, and at the bottom the slasher film probably. Now the issue with this, in particular with the psychological horror, is that people start to act like because they're afraid of certain things, because certain horror films scare them, they're more intelligent than other people. And this is what set me off. Uh, I was on a, a post, uh, I was looking on this like post about uh, The Babadook, which some people might know has been sort of called the scariest film of the year, and it's good, it's a good film. But there were some people on there who were fundamentally not frightened by it, which is fine, because being afraid of something is instinctive, it's subconscious, it's not something that you, you, you try and do. But instantly people were jumping down their throats going, oh, you don't appreciate true horror because you weren't frightened by this film. And that doesn't make any sense to me because you don't, it doesn't take intellectual effort to appreciate horror. What's frightening to one person is not to another person. It's such a subjective thing, even in real life. I'm afraid of dogs. No one's afraid of dogs except me and a few other people that are apparently weird for being afraid of dogs. At the same time, I love spiders. Not many people like spiders. Does that mean there's something wrong with me? Maybe, but I don't think so. I think that people are allowed to be afraid of different things, and I think that that should carry through to horror. So, for example, uh, to prove that I'm not being biased, I'll take one that I don't like. I don't like The Conjuring. To me, I get nothing out of The Conjuring except Ooh, a jump scare, a sudden increase in volume. But there are people out there who, are, who love The Conjuring, who are terrified of The Conjuring. And good. Good for them. They get something out of it that I don't. And I'm not saying that all they get from it is jump scares or, or a, a kind of sudden jolt. There might be something for them that is deeply, un, is, is, a, is deeply unsettling and disturbing that just doesn't carry over for me. So I would take another case in point. I was in a recent screening for a film called The Possession of Michael King. Was not frightened by it at all. But people in the cinema were. And I didn't think, oh, those people are idiots. They don't understand true horror. They, they just want jump scares or they just want God. I just went, no, they're, they're frightened by different things to me. I think Halloween's terrifying. A lot of people don't think Halloween's terrifying. Whatever. The Pyramid. Possibly the worst film I've seen all year. 
it's objectively it's a bad made film but i can't say it's objectively not scary be something can't be objectively scary there are things like sharks or bears that a lot of people are scared of but you can't say it's an objectively scary thing nothing is objectively scary so i can't say at the same time that the pyramid is objectively not scary it's objectively badly made i can make that point it's objectively it's badly acted and it's terrible in lots of ways but if you're scared by it, I cannot say, well, you're wrong to be scared by it. That that doesn't make any sense. And who knows, maybe you're afraid of CGI cats, in which case I have to make a concession to you, then the pyramid's probably fucking terrifying. And, again, uh, leading from what I just said, I do think that horror films can be objectively good. I think that The Exorcist, or The Shining, or Rosemary's Baby, or whatever, they're objectively good films, and films like The Pyramid are objectively bad films, but that can't be based on whether or not they scare you, in the same way that you can't say something's objectively funny in comedy. A horror is not something that you can just quantify on a is scary, is not scary spectrum. And if you think out there that you do understand true horror, have you seen the Keith Lemon film? Because if not, then you don't. You really, really don't.